Well, it's a snapshot of what's to come, part of the growing pains of a planned third city. KITV4's Catherine Cruz is keeping watch on the latest developments in Kaka'ako. She has the latest fireworks over a project known as 803 Waimanu. The exemptions for the central Kaka'ako high rise would allow the developer to build a tower almost three times the current 65 foot height limit. Opponents who live in the Imperial Plaza complex say the project is too big for such a small space. This project is a nightmare. I would not even want to run the crane on this project because it's so tight, there's no lay down. It's going to be a very dangerous situation. Developer Franco Mola says he's asking for exemptions for density and height in exchange for building 192 affordable units. The next door neighbors fear their breezes and views will be blocked, and shade could be a problem for the solar system for this next door business. Anyone can understand a few minor exemptions, but when the requests are for so many major variances and huge adjustments, it seems obvious that the project is not suitable for the size of the property. Mola met with his potential neighbors and offered to make some concessions, but not enough to appease the residents. We reduced some, some floors, we reduced some parking, uh, but you know, again, the reality is, is that that's not their interest. Their interest is not having a building next to them. Mola also countered the opposition with some 400 signatures on a petition in support of workforce housing, and others turned out to appeal for an option to commuting. It's important that young families are able to live in town, in Honolulu. Right now, the only affordable place is on the other side of the island, which means that my husband leaves for work before we get up and gets home after our baby goes to bed. Area lawmakers asked for advance notice and more opportunity for public input. Their message, proceed with caution. You'll be establishing a bad precedent if you allow this project to go through, and you will be opening a gate of hell in Kaka'ako. The project, which is on this half-acre lot, will have one final public hearing before the HCDA board makes a final decision next month. In Kakako, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News. And that meeting is set for July 3rd at 9 o'clock in the morning.